why I'm an as activist um, masquerading an a, as an artist. Right. I, I can get away with all sorts of stuff as an artist and not get arrested. You know, like every revolution you know, has involved artists. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that that's not, a, not by accident. I'm classified in every institution in this country as an Aboriginal artist and, and my work is, is deemed Aboriginal. Now, now that, in, that in itself is racist. Because I came to art from tourist art, you know, like, and, and everything was, was filled, every line, every stroke. Where, whereas uh, I was looking at the, the, the desert artists, you know, like, and just, like, they felt no problem letting the paint run out, you know, like, and then I found that it actually, you know, um, helped the, the work. It, it, it made them shimmer, you know, like, yes, um, yes, yes. So you know, like uh, I thought, oh damn, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna start painting like that, and that meant, and that was quicker. That so that that fell within um, the the realms of my artwork, you know, like, um, which is to do make work uh, efficiently, mm -hmm. you know, with minimum of, of um, effort. Like my experience with tourist art, you know, I, I learned to paint really quickly anyway. So mm -hmm. now I've, I've developed styles of painting that look like they take forever, yeah. but you know, like um, I can do really quickly. I, I was doing these little things there, and, and this white dude comes up to me one day. He said, he's looking over my shoulder. He said, "Why don't you get into fine art?" I said, "What do you mean? Look at these fine art. There's fine lines here. That's fine art, isn't it?" Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a bit of an activist, aren't you? I said, yeah. He said, well, you know, you can, you can reach a much bigger audience, you know, um, than um, uh, you can ever do by marching down the street. You know? I got um, the idea then to do some small things, you know, for you know, tourist size size things, you know, like just get them printed off set. Mm -hmm. so, so I did, but I also did a couple of... Um, uh, political mm -hmm. things um, uh, as well. I developed this this new way of marketing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I looked at what uh, was around in, in the shops and that. What I noticed was that some of the white um, boys and girls were um, uh, putting things in, in a win images in a in a window, mm -hmm. in a framed window, and then putting a backing board, you know, and, mm -hmm. and a blurb about themselves oh, yes, on yes, the yes, back, yes, right? Yes. So, and shrink wrapping them. So I said, damn, I'm going to do that, you know, with Blackfellas stuff, yeah? And um, I, it, it was, re they were really successful. I, I would have sold, you know, like, you know, maybe half a million. I think the ideas are really strong. Certainly I'm, I'm challenging everybody to buy my, to buy my work. You know, like, um, I'm making it hard for, well, I'm not challenging Blackfellas. Um, no. Uh, to buy it, uh, other than the fact that you know, my dealer charges ridiculously high prices for them. You know, so. yes, yes. I constructed this painting for the Telstra Art Prize, mm -hmm. um, and I told everybody that it, that it would win um, before before I even painted it. You know, mm -hmm. before, uh, mm -hmm. I was just skiding up and sort of you know, blowing. Sh and, and anyway, um, I finished it and. I didn't, I didn't send it away because I got cold feet. Mm. I said, what if it doesn't win? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, but my, my daughter said, oh, no, nah, Dad, you've got to send it away. Okay. So I sent it. It was the last work to arrive. Um, and uh, it was the first time that everybody in the gallery agreed that that on okay. what would win. Okay. Uh, we, one of the, the, the reasons um, for starting Prop and Hour was so that we had a united voice to speak out against mm -hmm. uh, the um, ethnicising of um, Aboriginal art, um, and uh, in particular our position, you know, like off, mm -hmm. you know, um, to, to the the periphery, mm -hmm. you know, within Aboriginal art. We probably look for you know uh, overtly overtly political. Right. Yep. Um, and with um, a tough air, you know, uh, taking a, a very strong pro-Aboriginal uh, stance. I, w I would want people to look, um, you know, immediately I want them to, 
to look um, deeply mm -hmm. at the works and, and look for um, look beneath the surface, you know, like of, of um, the the direct uh, statement, you know, like, um, and contemplate, you know, um, other meanings mm -hmm. there. Uh, I believe in you know, in in freedom, um, in free, yeah, for everybody, free thought. Free thought. Free thought. Yeah, free speech. You know, like, yeah, but you know, we have to be we have to be careful. You know, like, um, about um, what we say. You know, like, um, uh, and, and I'm serious when I say that I'm a recovering racist and a recovering sexist and a recovering homophobe. You know, like, um, uh, because that's how you know, like I was taught to you know um, to be like that. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to undo you know what I've been taught, and, and I. Well, I think my life has become richer for it, and I'd like I'd like more people to to do that.